All right, guys, uh, we have another great webinar and with a special guest, uh, Niall McCarthy um, from NUI. So uh, Niall's going to be talking all about the importance of subscriptions, memberships, and obviously uh, the tech that enables that possibility. Um, so I've had several discussions with uh, Niall, and um, it's a great guy, been in the industry for a long time. He's good friends with Owen Bowling, who um, recommended uh, Niall to me, and uh, since then we've uh, we've had some intriguing conversations, and I feel that uh, what uh, what uh, so, so know, let's let's talk about that tomorrow. I've got a meeting. Mean, I've got to get sorry. to. Sorry. Um, so what we're going to be focusing on, anyways, is Niall will be sharing um, the importance of subscriptions, memberships, but also this new sort of technology that he has. Um, that's probably enough from me. So Niall, I'll let uh, totally. you take over from here, mate. Yeah, no worries. Firstly, thanks everyone. Um, when I do these sessions I like to be as interactive as possible so you know sometimes there are sessions where I'll just deliver it and then questions at the end but I actually think this one I want to be as practical as possible probably not I probably want to answer questions five minutes straight but if there is something that um, does pop up you want clarification on it feel free to you know pop your hand or even unmute and just ask a question so let's be really practical with it um, and I'll share my screen now as well just one with me just let me know if that all good can people see that now yep. give us a nod someone thumbs up great okay cool all right so um again i want to be really practical it's more a conversation i would say rather than a presentation or a pitch or anything like that um but i i, I can assume we all know something about subscriptions whether we personally use them in our own lives, whether that's you know subscribing to a Netflix or a Spotify, or something of the like, or we may have something like it in our current businesses or our future businesses, or we're looking to introduce it. So fundamentally the idea is I want to make it part educational. So give you some insights into the value of subscriptions across the board, but then also show you what I, my company and what we build. Um, and I want, again, as part of that to be really practical for you guys. So at the end of this, I'll give you access to to not only the product, but also would love to have one-on-one -on -one calls with you directly and, and chat about your businesses and that this is all, you know, of my own time and, and understand what you guys are currently doing and how potentially we could support you as well. So that's kind of top, top level. Um, I won't, I don't like to talk about myself too much, but it's always good to have some context to why I'm here and why you guys are here. So um, I've been in tech now for at least 10, maybe 12 years building consumer facing mobile apps mostly. So the one he's over, I won't show it to you today, but it's been a very successful consumer-facing fitness app. So I think Center, Sweat, those type of apps, um, Zover is similar to that. Very big in the States. Um, we did very, very well in the US or have done very well in the US, millions of downloads. Um, one, what they call Apple Design Award. So I think Oscar for apps kind of thing, like a big, big accolade there. Um, and the main point I'm bringing up is we've been building deep subscription experiences for seven years as you can see from 2015 so when apple first offered subscriptions to the world we were one of the first apps to integrate it and we deeply understand um, not only what it, what it, what the experience is like for clients and customers but actually for the businesses like yourselves and how they can um, not only be great for you but also there is some comp there can be some complications to it if you if you come at it with not the right understanding i guess as well now building a, a platform called Newey, fundamentally the idea of this is you should be able to, as a individual sole trader, small business, our belief is you should be able to offer a subscription-like business as easy as it is that you could subscribe to a Netflix. You should be able to subscribe to your services. Um, literally send a link, tap a button, Apple Pay or Google Pay, whatever it is, and get paid up front. It should be that simple. The technology is available to you, but unfortunately, a lot of the time, small businesses, sole traders, they get they're underserved and, and everyone, all the big tech, just think about the big guys and don't think about the small guys. So that's our intent here. We want to build a delightful experience. Or we are building a delightful experience for you as, as, a, as a business owner, but also for your clients too. All right, dive into it. So this one's a good one. And if you don't follow him, he's worth follow. Uh, Jonathan Goodman on Instagram and Twitter, a whole bunch of places. So regardless of where your business is at, I think this is really a, 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 not only a great kind of piece of content, but so, so true. So year one, it's 75% fitness. Maybe sometimes it's 100% fitness for some people. And all you think about is how good your program is going to be, how good you're going to be on the gym floor or whatever it might look like. And the business is quite naive, typically. 
And over the years come, you realize how much that flips as not only your, you know, your coaching and your, your you know, learning capacity changes as well. You're probably more, you know, more knowledgeable there. But fundamentally, you realize, actually, I need to do more work on my business to allow myself to, um, you know, grow that business, but also build, build a legacy for myself too. And being valued isn't enough. You want to learn um, how to be valued. And I think that's a big thing that we're seeing more and more with the, the, with the businesses we work with. Um, that doesn't mean that the fitness quality deteriorates over time. It just means your, your shift to, to where the business needs that help over time as well. So I love that quote. It's a good one or a piece of content. So again, I know this is going to sound very simple, but um, it's, these are the, probably the four main ways that most PTs or fitness businesses take, take their payments. Um, cash, invoice, bank transfer, point of sale um, or direct debit. They all have their pros and cons, as you know. Cash is great when it hits your wallet right there and then. Uh, there's no fees, there's nothing, it's there. But you know what? It gets spent pretty quickly, hard to track. There's also a really big likelihood someone doesn't pay you um, or, or that payment's delayed or whatever it is, as we've all experienced. Invoices, again, um, sometimes people lean on them because they give a bit of leeway to their clients. Um, again, it's not as popular as some of the other ones or bank transfers. But again, you probably all have experienced missed payments. People haven't paid. The awkwardness around, hey, you used to loan me from this five sessions ago, whatever it might be. Um, we all know that they're challenging, but they're very easy. Both of those top two are very easy for you to start with. You know what I mean? Like I just, I'll click cash or I'll, or just let's transfer money right now. Here it is. Um, but it's not sustainable. It truly isn't sustainable long-term. Um, and even if it is, there's better ways to do it and save you time, save you awkward conversations and save you money. Point of sale. A lot of people will, will try things like Square as such where they might um, actually take payments on the fly or gyms or, or small gyms might do that too. They have their place. They have their time and place. I'm not knocking them at all. But again, there's lots of downsides to it. People might not bring their card, the payments. They don't arrive and you know, cancel your sessions, all those things. Again, you're probably all nodding your head and understanding those as well. And then finally, direct debit. Now, um, direct debit, as you know, many of you probably know, it's been around for probably 20 odd, 25 years or so. There's a number of services out there that offer it. Easy pay, uh, you know, there's a number of them, debit success. Now, uh, the, the biggest thing with direct debit is the, the, the difference between it and a subscription. They are very similar in their application. A fundamental, they are payments upfront at a, at a recurring basis. But what direct debit is not very good at, it's terrible consumer experience. You think about actually the process you've got to go through to get someone on direct debit and then the other things that come with it. Um, and when I say direct debit, I mean some of these companies that I mentioned, as, as you're probably aware of, they're not great experiences. They haven't, they really haven't um, innovated and haven't needed to for a long time. And that's where we see a really big opportunity to not only make it delightful for you, but your client, um, but continue to get those payments regularly, consistently, and, and um, you can you know, see your cash flow on that. So I'll ask a question actually to, to you know, feel free to jump on. I know most of you are on mute. Um, Tell me just quickly, are you, are you are people taking all four of these, one of these? Just give us a quick idea of, of what it looks like at the moment for some of you guys, please. Don't feel free to jump in, doesn't matter. Uh, well, I do just one person with invoicing because he's an NDIS individual, but most of my yep. clients go through a, I wouldn't want to say subscription, but it's, have you heard of the app Trainerize? I do know Trainerize, yep. Yep, so through that system, through shop and all those things. Great. Awesome. Yep. Anyone else? Well, good. We'll leave it there. No problem. So I'll um. So skipping on from that. So then, so the problem with your payments, as I mentioned, um, you know, there's there's admin to each of them, um, to some degree. And I think the thing that is it mentioned that earlier slide, um, I think the biggest thing with admin is you don't realize how much it is until it stacks up week upon week, month, 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 right? So it might not seem like much, you know, every before, a pay, sorry, before a session after each week. But I think if you look back over 12 months, how much time is spent on collecting payments and managing them, I think you'd shock yourself. If you don't already, you probably could and you'd be surprised um, how much time is spent on that. Now that could be time spent with your kids on the beach relaxing or it could be time with more clients. You know, you, you get to choose on that, but it's something that I don't know too many people I speak with guy I love admin. I really like doing it. It's the, it's the best time of my week. So we all, we all understand that one. Um, chasing money. It's a big thing. Again, um, even if you've got a mature business and you've got great clients, uh, it's, it's just, uh, it's a constant hassle most of the time. Um, it's awkward. 
it's unnecessary. Um, you guys shouldn't have to deal with it. I think that's the biggest thing. Many other industries don't have to deal with this, um, but for some reason, fitness still, a lot of the time, we're still chasing cash from people. Uh, cancellations, we're big on this one. We think that subscriptions, direct debit, um, not only can reduce it, it increases client adherence. We're seeing that already in our data, but also we're looking to build things that are particularly um, PT friendly or, or provider friendly, whereby people can't do last minute cancellations on you, or it's very, it's not difficult for them. They're, they're, they're discouraged in that sense. And again, another one, I've done some math with already some, some people we work with thousands of dollars difference that if you look at your cancellations over the years, um, over the year that you can save as well. So some people are better than others. Some, some have got really, really loyal and, and regular customers. But again, what we see is there's money, there's money off left on the table there with the cancellation piece as well. Um, to track, hard to track how much you're making. Some of you might be, again, really organized. Um, again, most of you are focused on the fitness side of your businesses, typically, from what I've seen. Um, I don't want to generalize, but that's not my case. But this is one where it would be great if you could forecast and understand where you're at at any one time um, and, and one that we want to really help you with. And we see lots of opportunity there. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned here, doing admin instead of coaching and earning, um, I keep bringing it up, but you know, if you, if you want to increase your income, where are you going to find that you could either find time or you're going to have to increase your prices or a combination of the two, uh, ideally both. That's my view, but, um, we can get to that as well. Uh, any questions or feedback or thoughts there before I go further? I think the one nail in the coffin is definitely uh, cancellations, postponings. That's the biggest headache to deal yeah. with, to be fair. Yeah. Totally. COVID, COVID's obviously only increased that even more so, right? I think everyone can relate, particularly people in big cities. Uh, now, whether those people are sick or not, that's obviously one thing to, to question on. But um, yeah, we, we see it as a huge opportunity to make a better experience for you as a, as a trainer or as a coach. Um, and also, again, to, to hold your clients accountable. Um, that's something that we're big on. I won't touch on this one. It's, it's one of those ones where it's a dictionary de definition, but some people are, you know, are literally they're still very, they're still not sure what it is and the difference between things. So it's recurring price, regular intervals, product or service. Um, and we're seeing them happen in more and more businesses. You look at Apple and even Google, their, their revenue now as big tech companies, a significant part of it now is on, on their subscription services. So it is where the world is moving in many ways. And you as an organization or as a, as a you know, running your businesses, if you haven't already done it, it should be a, a big thought for you. So how do you use them? Um, again, these are just some examples we're already seeing people use them in. So depending upon your type of business, um, whether it is you're doing everything in person or a combination of things, I'll just quickly skim over them. So in-person coaching, um, Obviously, you know, high touch, high reward in my sense. I think it's an interesting one that's obviously, huge, you know, majority of people are in that world um, when they're delivering face-to-face. -face. Our, again, our platform is perfect for that type of service where there's no cash handled. There's no, you literally the person shows up, you deliver the session, high five at the end, I'll see you next time. Um, ideally, that's what everyone wants. And then you're on to the next coach. Oh, sorry, on to the next coach session. Programming, I'm interested to know how many people currently do it or want to do this. Um, uh, we can chat either, you know, a little bit at the end on that. But our, again, our platform is, is very suited to this. Now, um, just before Trainerize was mentioned, we've got Trainerize, True Coach, PT Minor. There's a number of these platforms and many others, even you know, the likes of YouTube as such, where you can do the programming piece of your business really well through them. They typically are monthly subscribers. Description. They typically um, there is you know there's a fair bit of setup in doing that process. We don't we're not focused on the coaching piece here. We're focused on the on the payments and the admin and running your business piece. So a lot of people using our platform actually pair it up with one of those types of experiences if they do online coaching. So we we believe that payments is too far too important to be an an add on to a coaching platform. We believe it should be a fundamental pillar. Um, and then I'll show you why later on. Hybrid, um, we're seeing more and more trainers do this. It's actually interesting where they'll, they'll offer an in-person experience and an online one for the same client. So it's almost like you're doubling up um, and anyone who hasn't done it and then does introduce it, they already see they're able to essentially get more from the same customer. It doesn't always happen. Not everyone's up for it, but how we structure it and help people do it in our app has been really, really delightful because it gives you almost gives them like the pricing or the products very easily displayed um, and you can understand what the value is for each. So that's a really, really popular one we're seeing more and more people do. The next two 
Some people offer them, they don't. Challenges and courses. Um, again, they are well supported in, in what we do. But I think the interesting thing around them, sometimes there can be a lot of effort, a lot of effort and the reward is sometimes questionable. Um, depends on, again, how you set them up and how long, how long you want to run them for. Again, happy to talk more specifically about them if, if you currently do them or want to do them as well. And the final one's gym rent. Um, whether you collect rent or you pay rent, um, we believe that it, sh again, should be automated pretty easily. So your payments, you know, you should pay on time if you're paying the gym or the gym should collect their payments. Um, should be a pretty straightforward process. Um, and I know a lot of people have them BSB or they might have them direct debited. But again, I think from then you get very little visibility on them um, in how it's currently done most of the time too. So it's another one supported. All right. Any questions there? Otherwise I'll jump on. And, yeah, uh, no, I'll, no, just quickly. Yeah. Um, so, so Nui, in other words, sort of complements, yeah, um, sort of any, any other app, be it Trainerize in terms of the pay. Yeah. Is that what you're getting totally. at? Yeah, exactly. And, and there's a number of reasons for that. I think, as I mentioned before, predominantly those platforms are programming based businesses, right? They're there to help you coach and deliver the, you know, the workouts or the exercises and almost all of them, the, the, the payment piece works, it can do it, but it is, an, it's not an afterthought. It is a, an add on to do so. Um, and in, and our view is like, again, we, we, there are so many nuances that come with payments that can be delightful and abstracted away and make it easy for both you and client that these platforms aren't, aren't focused on. Um, that we do and we want to be excellent, literally the best in class at this. Um, and so you might pair it up and we see a lot of people pair it up with a trainerizer, a true coach as such, um, and then use our platform to do them and manage all the payments in the admin piece. And it'll make sense once I show, once I demo it as well. But yeah, that's the idea. Terrific. Okay. Great. Um, so benefits, again, I'll, I'll t I'm, these will just, I'll almost be talking through these as we go through. They're predictable, they're upfront. Um, it's always nice to know what's coming in each week, isn't it? I don't, you know, it doesn't matter how big your business is or what stage you're at. Um, particularly through times like COVID as such, our app gives you that insight or our, our view on the world is you should know what's coming um, at any one time. And that's not just um, that's not just this week. That could be 12 months out. So you cash flow and you can see, oh, I've got a holiday coming up. What are my payments going to look like in December? Okay, I can start to see what they look like pretty easily. Um, in our experience, uh, better experience for the client. This is a massive one. I was at Firelex last week or the week before, presented there as well. And there was a, uh, a young guy there straight away. I was like, this sounds like easy debit. Um, I was like, okay, fair enough. That's that, two, two problems. One for my problem is I've got to explain it better. And secondly, it's far from it. But the typical experiences, it's really, and the biggest thing we're out to is help our clients fit a healthier, happier people. But also at the same time too, we want them to have a great experience and a professional experience from start to finish with you as, as, as running your business. And typically a lot of the payment processes at the moment that people use cash, invoice, bank transfer, you name it, they're not actually that great for the on the client side. Um, and I think we understand when we use a service like Netflix or Spotify, we have more control as clients over that, that platform of it or using those services. We feel as though clients should have more involvement or more visibility um, than they currently have with most places. It'll make sense again when I show you, but that's a big one. Admin, I mentioned that as well. I won't, I won't dabble on it, but we know it's a big piece of it. Um, adherence, we're already seeing people showing up more often. They're paying and they're coming time and time again. Um, and the coach knows when they are. So again, that's a huge thing for, for that. Um, rather than having to, to get another client to, to push your, you know, your income up, it could just be get that ex your existing clients to make sure they're coming as often as they physically can um, outside of, you know, emergencies or sickness. Um, jumping on cancellations. I'll show you some stuff in there that already it's, it's been interesting, but we've got some really um, unique approaches, how we want to reduce cancellations for people. A lot of it comes down to the timing on when someone wants to cancel. Is it six hours before the session? I'm not feeling up to it. I'm a bit hungover, whatever it might be. Life happens, but, that's not, it sh fundamentally shouldn't be your responsibility if someone can't make it. Um, it's most of the time it's on there. So I'll talk through that too. Uh, and then pause and fail payments. Again, that's again, not your responsibility. It shouldn't be. You, you, it, what it should be is dealt with our, our platform and or from the client not having money in their account. It happens time and time again. 
But a big thing for us is we manually work with these and deal with all of these payments and we give you a lot of visibility around when that does or doesn't happen. So again, you shouldn't have to stress about these, these, these things that do happen more often. And another big thing for us, there's no fees involved with any of these um, pausing or failing. So typical, a lot of platforms do charge either the client or you a fee, which that doesn't exist in our world. That shouldn't be, that shouldn't be a thing, but it is still sadly. Do you, do you mind if I just ask a question on that point? Yeah, Ryan? please. Please. Yeah. Number one, number one, I'm Sammy and thank you so much for the presentation. This is brilliant. No uh, number two, uh, just on uh, the, the the paused payments and failed yep. payments there, uh, I, I love that you automate this part. This part is key to make it as easy and painless for the customer as possible. Yep. Can you go into a little bit about how you automate that process and how it, it's convenient for everyone sure. involved? Like it's, I, like, um, like, I'd love to understand that. Sorry. Yeah, sure. No, no, no. It's a good question. The best way for me to do is show show you when I demo it. And I'll do that literally in two slides time, Sammy. And, I, and there's probably a few other things you'll see that um, will, yeah, highlight, so that, highlight how easy it is for both. So yeah, let's so demo. Grateful. I'll jump into that. I'll literally jump in that two minutes, I reckon. And then we can, you can, and then that's where you can pull me up and ask how things do or don't work, I reckon. Is that okay? Would love that. Great. Awesome. Um, I didn't realize this chat going on. I didn't uh, actually check it, but anyway, I'll, uh, I've got it open now. So my promise here, uh, you can hold me to it within reason. Uh, you probably sent me bankrupt, but I'm kidding. So um, you, really, if you can subscription a fire, I don't even know if that's a word, your business, as much of it as possible. Um, I'm, I'm very, very confident, almost 100% almost guarantee you'll make a lot more money every year. Um, and that compounds too, right? Like each year, if you if you're able to automate things when it comes to your payments and get you back to running your you know the coaching side of your business um the stress the pain the pain-free side of things it's brilliant but secondly too a big part of it is that your clients go back to it, your clients have a great experience so again the retention of them sticking with you continuing with your service is, is a big thing so it's as much as not losing money as it is making money is the combination of that is this factor here so all right, implementing them. I'll be really quick. So this is my this is my business now. Again, you know, I pride myself and my co-founder on building delightful experiences. It's just it it brings me joy when you use a good product, whether it's uh, personally or professionally, and that's a big thing for us. Um, so yeah, increase revenue on this. You'll save your time. It definitely professionalizes it and around client adherence and results. I believe I'll come back to this. What I want to do is let's dive in and i'll show you what it looks like so bear with me i'll just uh, share my screen so let me know if you can see someone gives me a heads up if you can see my my phone yep great awesome okay so um this is on an iphone and i'll be transparent at the moment um it is currently only on iphone it will be on android soon in the coming month or two and will also be a web experience as well. Um, so if you're an Android user, please don't hate on me too much, um, but it is coming down the line and we actually wanna work, we've worked with a lot of iPhone users to build this experience. We wanna work directly with our, uh, Android users too. So I'll still get your details, we'll still chat um, if you're interested in, and actually work with you directly, but I thought I'd highlight that at the start. So diving in, I've done this demo many times, so I'll be quickish with it, but if there's something that pops up you see and you want to ask more about it, please do stop me in a moment. So uh, the bottom app here in the bottom corner called Nui. So fundamentally here, this can do a number of things for you straight away. So you'll see there's a couple of uh, profiles here of different trainers and businesses. Um, so how a client would find you in Nui would be, would be a couple of ways. And I'll show you that pretty quickly. They would download the app. They would search for you and then they would find your profile, pretty simple. Or what we're seeing a lot of is people actually will use their specific links. So you, we create links for you on your different, either your profile and or your products. And then they will place them in their marketing material, website, Instagram, TikTok, where, you know, uh, email uh, or text, wherever you and however you communicate with your existing clients or new ones. So Jake, I'll use him as an example. Young trainer has been using the app now for uh, a couple of months and doing really well. In his link tree, he's got his personal training packages, as you'll see. 
tap that link, there's Jake's page. He then has a little bit of information about himself and his, and his uh, focus. And then he has his products listed or his plans listed directly underneath. Pretty straightforward, right? So that's how as simple as it is for someone to get to find you on this in our app. Now we believe there's a difference here. So it's easy pays, a lot of the existing platforms don't give you any public profile. It's literally a transactional thing that happens in the background. You've got to fill out forms and all the rest. We actually believe in a world where your products and services should have as much visibility as possible. They should be very easy for someone to see and, and compare as such, but also that you can share this and put this in many places. As we know more and more so, you know, we're getting leads from all sorts of places. It should be, your product should be very visible. Just like if I go to a furniture website and I want to buy a couch, I can see all the products there. That's, that should be similar to your services, um, whether they're online or in person. So I'll, use, I'll show some examples of different businesses. So here's a gym in Sydney, boutique gym uh, down in uh, Darling Point. Uh, no, not Darling Point, Double Bay, I think. Um, and they run their online programming through this so they still have their members in the gym now they use our app to then facilitate their online coaching as you can see here very simple 9.95 a week and in the text access through true coach so if i was to tap subscribe i won't actually you know what i'll give them ten dollars just so you can all see it once why not why not do it so i'll tap subscribe hopefully my demo actually works it should do should be much quicker than that my credit card payment comes up, as you can see. So I, I can choose Apple Pay or I can choose my Visa card or I can very easily add my card details. So it's that, that lightweight for someone. If May I, I ask, Apple, uh, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, so please. sorry, Niall. Yeah, uh, go for it. Uh, PayPal, is that involved at all, PayPal? No, we don't. Well, we will support PayPal, but currently um, our, so I'll give you an idea if we use Stripe as our backend banking solution. So that's what we currently use. We will support PayPal in the future. And if you use it currently, then we can look at how we can support that for you. And we kind of are adding payment merchants as, as needed really at the moment. So typically credit card has been the most popular so far. We'll have debit, debits available and, and the PayPal's alike. So that's pretty much a request and we build uh, if that answers that question for you. Great. So then I um, can add my cards really easily as, as, a, as an end client. Then once I hit pay, um, this is another thing that I'll, I'll show you really quickly, but I'll come back to it. We believe in the same world, you should have a communication way. And I know some apps already do this, but the, you, it is an extremely professional way to then talk to your clients. So say I have 20 odd clients as a, as a trainer, they'd all be listed here. I can then talk directly to them and I can add files, videos, photos, whatever it might be, just like a WhatsApp, iMessage uh, or the like. So in the same world, we're seeing people not only that we're getting people to subscribe to their services, they then manage their clients here and around payments, who can attend, they can't attend. And it's actually been a really popular um, experience for people as well in the app so far. And again, I'll show an example of Tess. I actually personally get um, programming from her. You can see um, there's conversations here about how, the program she sends me. She drops in Zoom links. So if you wanna do Zoom coaching through it, for example, I drop in my CrossFit program. Don't hold it against me, I'm one of those crazy people. Um, and I can drop my program as such from there. So it's been really popular. Um, another thing that's great here too, is you can message, um, it's soon to be supported. You could message individually or you can message one message to everyone at once. So say I get COVID as a coach, I can say, hey guys, I'm unavailable this week. That message goes out to everyone. They're then all, they're all aware of that. So again, we all know the power of chat. I'll jump back out. I'll show you um, another example down here. I'll show you actually Tess's program. So Tess is a good example of a uh, sole trader PT that does both online coaching and in person. A little bit of information about her. She coaches out of a gym in Sydney called 98. Um, she has a personal program of $60 a week here. She has one session per week um, in person, two sessions per week in person. Very straightforward simple as and it's been delightful for her you can see now sammy i think asked that question so see the gray area where it says manage subscriptions and it's active so i'm personally paying for that now this is an example of pausing so i now as a as an end user i tap manage i can now cancel or pause so people are going to oh that means they're going to cancel straight away it's not happening whatsoever particularly for in-person stuff 
that they are typically what happens if someone goes to cancel, the notification comes through to the, to the trainer immediately. We also notify them too, saying this person is looking to cancel. You then have an opportunity to, to talk to them why that, that might be the case. You might be able to offer them a different subscription or potentially they may move on. But in the pausing sense, this has been a really, really popular one. I now tap pause as an end user, as a client. It brings up when would I like to pause to. I can put my date in. I hit submit. Both we as a company get alerted immediately. So then we let you know, but also the app lets you know too. So then you'll see Niall is now paused for three days because he's going on holiday, he's sick, whatever it might be. Um, we then manually set that for you at the moment because uh, we want to be involved in that process. And the payment, you don't lose a customer in the sense they're not churning out of it. They get a delightful experience. They can manage it. You can also do this too. So you can also pause payments if you want. We're seeing it happen on not on a, not a huge basis, but it's been really delightful again. Sim it sounds very simple, but to build that and actually make it um, a thing for the end user has been really popular. So hopefully that shows you what that looks like, Sammy and others. Um, I'll then bounce out. I know I'm conscious of time as well. So we've got different people, again, doing different services. Um, majority are in the health and fitness space. There's Owen himself. Uh, Tarek mentioned him earlier, so he's doing consulting through it as well. Again, um, he's a, you know, a, a CrossFitter who does CrossFitting programming. This guy was a touring, touring uh, earlier this year. Very fit guy. Um, and again, different services. So he's another person here, Liv. She's jumped on recently. Um, again, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six different services. Again, splits it up for different, different clients. So each of your needs, whatever they might be, you can create these yourselves and I'll show you how easy that is to do. So once you land on your profile screen, um, you will do two things to connect. You will add your basic profile details. So simple as I'm going to edit profile, add my information, who I am, which is pretty simple. And then you'll also, I won't show it here, but then you connect Stripe. And Stripe takes all of five to seven minutes. You need your ABN or ACN details. Some of you might already have Stripe. You can connect your existing account. Very simple. Um, but this is how easy it is to create a product. This is what we're very proud of so far. So I go into plans. You can see my existing plans. And now I'll add one. So I'll hit add plan. So there's no forms. You can create one subscription. Multiple people to, can subscribe to it. So I'll say I'm going to do five sessions per week. I've got a super client, the cl best client of all. Five sessions per week. Maybe not actually, probably really high maintenance. Um, this is going to be uh, for 45. You can obviously add more details. 45 minute, uh, minute sessions. For example, I can add a lot more detail if I want. Now, this is a this is a couple of cool things here. Once I add in my price, so say I'm gonna I'm hundred dollars per per session, so it's a five hundred dollar um, uh, price, and I'm gonna charge that. Actually, that's not realistic. Let's make this. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna go back. Let's make it one session per week. And I'll make it realistic. So say I'm um, I'm eighty dollars per week for a session. So I can choose my time period. You'll see in the text just underneath that we want to display how much this costs you um, directly when you create your products. So if I put in 80 or if I put in 100, you'll see uh, Newey's fee is 2.9% plus 30 cents. Now that fee is Stripe's fee. So there's no extra cost whatsoever. So if you were to sign up and use Stripe yourself, it costs you 2.9 plus 30 cents. So where we, our business model is built in to be transparent is the more transactions that we do through our product, the more of that 2.9% new we gets. So if we do a million transactions versus 10, we get more of that 2.9. But that doesn't mean you pay any more to use our platform whatsoever. So it's still 2.9 regardless. So hopefully that makes sense. But the reason I also talk about this really quickly is it says you'll, you'll get uh, $96.80. What we're seeing majority of people do now is they'll then do this, $104.80. They'll add the credit card fee or the, the, the transaction fee to their price. And then you can see you'll get $100.68. <clears throat> We're seeing very little pushback whatsoever. So you see that in cafes and lots of other places. You, when you buy tickets to go to gigs, they'll add the transaction fee to the price. And when it's transparent, clients are comfortably are comfortable with it most of the time. But that means you think how many transactions you do over a year, that again could save you many, many dollars there. Again, I won't dive in too deep on it. 
Um, I'll then show you the add features. So for example, if I wanted to offer um, chat support, for example, I can then add in features like chat, video, check-ins as such. I'll hit chat. I'll just do one of those. Now, I'm going to put an emoji so it's easy to see. Let's put cash one in. Should be like that. And I'm going to hit done. That is now live. That's how quick it is to create a product. I'll then go to my profile. There it is live on my profile. I could send a link to you right now and I'll do that. Actually, I'll do any, actually I won't confuse people. So you can see that's how quick it is to create a product in our app. So you can create May as many as little, little as you want. I'm so sorry, yeah. Niall. Do you want yeah, to go ask a question? The integration with the chat, that's just brilliant. Do we integrate Facebook into your system? Do we integrate other platforms? Can mm. we integrate? Good multiple? question. Good question. Currently, no. Um, and that's not because we won't in the future. Um, it's more so that there are so many different places that people run their business, right? You can imagine people using Facebook, Instagram, all the rest. What we want to do is build this from the ground up whereby we, we can consistently deliver an amazing experience for you. And in our view, less is more to start with. So if you're using Facebook Messenger, using the like currently, you may continue to do that. And you might only use the chat in our app for certain things. You might not move everything across. But some people are, depending upon how you want to run your business. And I think the challenge we have as an organization is the typical small businesses or sole traders, you'll run it slightly differently. And if we try and factor everyone right now to do all the things, uh, we, we will then, our eyes get pulled off the main prize, which is the payment piece. So my answer is not yet. It will in the future. Um, but we can work with you around how you might manage your experience with Nui with you know, Messenger or Google Chat or whatever you might use as well. So if I can ask, with your with your message message feature, does that yep. go through text message? It is that so that you would do it through the app itself. So sorry, it's not text; it's it's integrated text into our experience. So your client would open up Mui, and and then they would chat in this literally. So for example, talking to Tess, they would have their app open as well, and they would say, "Hey Tess, how's it going?" And everything's managed here securely in one place. What we've found is that. Um, it's been a great because it removes your personal number as well. So yes, you might have some existing clients that have, of course got maybe got your personal number as such, but as you add new ones or you might move integrate people across here, um, then we're seeing people. It's it's one place that everyone knows where to message you when it comes to training or working out with you. Um, great, hope that answers the question. So then I'll show you one more thing, which has been again. I keep going back to popular. So we all have mates rates, don't we? Or we. Sometimes do, sometimes don't. But what the reason we've also created this new feature or this feature is around hidden or private plans or, or subscriptions. So there's always a client that wants something su super specific that you might not want to offer to other people. You might have reduced prices. You might have disc whatever it might be. You Whatever unique way you want to run your business. So I'm going to send this to Sammy, for example, and I can go in. Sammy wants to do one session a week with me. I can either, as I mentioned before, I can share that specific plan to him. So I say I hit share plan. I then hit text message and then I'll just, I'll dummy that I had Sam's number, but I'll then text that to myself. So there's that specific plan. I now tap that link and that takes me, stop that again, sorry, I was in a weird state. I tap that again. That should work. Why isn't it working? Apologies. There we go. There's my, you can see now that specific plan for that specific client. So we've found that's been really good. Feels again, personalized. Here's your plan or here's your product. I can always then hit C plans and there's the remainder of my one uh, available. Sorry, I'll go back to what I was meant to be showing you. So let's go edit. And if I go to the bottom here, you'll see show and public profile. I can turn that off. I hit done. So it's still available, but it's hidden. So if I go to my actual profile again, where am I? Here somewhere. It's now disappeared, but it is still live. So I can text that directly to someone as I just showed you, but it's no longer. And the, the great part around this is this is a great way to offer to increase your pricing. So you can put your top prices on your page and then you might have your grandfathered or existing clients in, they might have hidden plans as well. So these are the nuances that the trainerizers, the many others have, no offense to them, not even thinking this stuff, right? From what we've seen, we want to make this experience so delightful for you to increase your revenue and reduce your admin. 
And only these things are, if you have enough of an understanding of them, you can build them or know the foresights of them. So that's another example of something that's quite specific. Um, final thing, uh, and then I'll stop talking and let people ask some questions if need be. This is a big one again for us sales. So because I don't have any sales, it's empty and it's, I can't show you live, but what I can show you is what it does look like for, sorry, lots of baby photos, got a 10 month old, the bloody legend. So what we also are big on here is actually helping you with your, um, uh, what, we, what we want to do here is a big, big thing is around cash flow, understanding your cash flow, but also understanding where, where, where you want to hit your goals. So say I'm at currently at 5,900 a month. I want to get to eight. What, services are the best services to offer to get me to eight with the least amount of work in some sense. So the idea here is that it's not just about more money. It's about the smart more money is the thinking. And so what we give you is you don't need to create spreadsheets. You don't need to go build, you know, even get bookkeepers to do the work. It is all displayed really clear for you. Your payout details, how, who's paying you what. So another example here, any individual client who, when they've paid, if they've expired, if they're paused, um, that is included as part of this as well. And another one that is really important is around your cohort. So like where you are at any one time per wow. day, per month, per week on your subscribers as well. So once you start to add people into the world, this stuff really starts to shine. And another big thing, what we want to do as part of this, this may be applicable to some people, maybe not. But an example of where this takes us is we could do things where we could give you advanced payouts. So we know your history, we can see you've been earning and you want it, you're going to go on holiday and you want to get early money we could say no problem here's the extra thousand dollars that you were owed in five days you can get it early or things like hey we've seen your history over the past six 12 months would you like access to a car loan so those sort of things where the financial products can be possible because we have an understanding of your cash flow your history what your business looks like and we do it securely and honestly with you as well so that's, a, that's, I know that's so a big, interesting that's a I'm big so sorry Niall, when you that's yeah, all right yeah, yeah, go for it no, no, go for when it, you're please. free. No, no, I'm so it. sorry, but that's an absolutely brilliant service. I'd love to understand that and have the, the boys and team, everyone here understand that. Uh, no. when you, when, are you offering loan products and advanced payments through your own platform? Or is that, is that some? Yeah, that's something that we as a company are working through. So that's, it's, that's not available yet. And it, and it only can be available if we can have the, um, essentially build a platform that can support enough businesses to do so. And so our thinking here is that this is almost the gateway to what's possible. I think is our, is our vision of this is that we want to support sole traders and small businesses, not just on collecting your payment today. It's where your business is in 12 months, six years time. And those are the sort of things that we believe are fundamental to helping, you know, this, this industry, you know, that's typically underserved. So yeah, there's a lot to unpack there and it's not time for on the call, but just to give you an insight of how big we're thinking with what's possible here, um, that, yeah, we could definitely be able to support things like, you know, early payouts and or um, potentially supporting, um, yeah, loan-like experiences as well. But again, we're, st we're still still very focused on the on the today right now. Let's um, let's rein it in. So appreciate that, Niall, just a yep. pretty good time. Uh, we'll open up the floor for, for any particular questions um, in and around what Niall's covered to this point. So it'd be a good opportunity for those who have been, who've stayed the course. Belinda needed to shoot off early and she's very keen to know more about the, um, the next steps. So anyone else here um, who wants to, you know, relay whilst you can to Niall um, anything about the app? Uh, yes, if I may, because um, currently, so obviously I'm using Trainerize and things and my payments go through Stripe, but it's through the Trainerize internal system. And the way I've separated my grandfather clients and new clients is putting them in two different like group chats with the payment stuff and blah, blah, blah. The one thing that Trainerize does is that it allows them to buy those items, obviously, or the subscriptions or the weekly plans or whatever, and then use them as tokens to then book in with me. Yeah. Um, is there... Uh, do I have to then sort of regress that process if I jump onto yeah. the or something? Great like question. That? Yeah. yeah, that's a great question. The scheduling piece of, of this world, again, is another, um, almost like another experience that we believe needs real deep focus on it. 
because mm. a lot of the time, again, people use many different services. They might use Google, they might use the existing. So again, I, this is almost like, I hope this doesn't come out as a cop out, but doing it well is, is harder than typically thought. So our thinking there is, at the moment, most people have some process to manage their bookings or clients, or to, as you say, tokens. If you already have a process using through Trainerize, yes, you would have to switch to it. We currently don't have a native or an internal experience at the moment. We recommend a couple of different services people do. So I'd say that is one downside right now. And I'm being brutally honest that if you wanted to keep those tokens through Trainerize um, through that payment, then they that's something we don't support yet. We definitely will do something of a similar type in the future. It might not be tokens. It may more be like scheduling in periods in the day. But I think there's another challenge around that too, is you should own your you should own your calendar, not your clients as well. And I think that's one that we see a lot of the time with a lot of scheduling experiences like have at it. And that's actually probably not the best for you and how you run your business too. So we're, we're constantly thinking about how we build that experience out and what it looks like. So short term is, sorry, short, short answer is no. Long term is yes. That's my thinking there. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Janiel, for, for that question. Yeah, it sounds like obviously there's there's um it's it's an app that is developing has such great potential. Um I, I think it depends on where one is at. So for, totally. to, to further investigate, I think what are you going to be offering, Niall? Yeah, sure. Or let's, those let's, who are going to be listening um, in after. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh so bear with me. back to this so yeah where it's used i'll be really quick here we've got people from and i actually use examples of them we've got people like nikki in the bottom right here she literally finished her course um excuse me i'll move off the screen she literally finished a course a month ago um she's joined rather than joining platforms she's jumped on and she's already got i think 13 or so clients on within the first month which has been really great Paige is someone she's been in the industry for a number of years um really well established matt on the top left Set of professional CrossFitter and, and, and provides programming for CrossFit gyms. He's using it for his programming. And Claire does a number of services down the bottom. She does um, kind of mental health coaching and counseling, along with personal training, nutrition stuff. So, multiple services um, people are using it for, not just even PT, which has been really good. So, then my offer here, um, I'll jump through these ones because most of these have been spoken about, is that we, um, so the benefits on it, as I mentioned before, it's just that credit card fee, the Stripe fee. So we um, we want to work and make it so that, you know, to use this platform, if you add your fees, it is technically free to use and, and will continue to be. So there's no hidden catches. There's no cost for the sign up for your clients. Um, we're here to support you throughout the whole experience as well. And so my offer for you guys is um, I'm going to put a link up very shortly and I'll drop it in the group chat as well. Same time. I would love to have, um, and even if you're on the fence or it's even, you know, you're happy with where you're at, I'd still love to grab a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with you. Um, we can then chat about your specific needs, where things are at for you and whether this could be something you could test. What we see a lot of people do is they might put one client or two clients on. They, they get the experience with their existing client and then go, wow, that was actually great. I am going to move across. So that's one thing that I do often recommend that people try. Um, but again, I, I'll, I'm happy to give up my time to, to support and understand where your business is at. Um, and then, yeah, from a, from a cost point of view, as I said, it's it's a very low. It's a low credit card fee in the first place, but you can pass it on. If you want to um, scan this, uh, grab your phone and scan this. Otherwise, I'll drop the links in the chat right now as well. With me. That link may not have worked. I'll just I'll drop it again. Just whilst um, no, I was doing that, uh, Sammy has been uh, providing a running summary as well. So <laughs> I'm saving this chat. <laughs> um, this will also be uploaded onto the FTI tribe um, as well as the legacy group. Um, so fear not, but uh, but act on it, guys. I think it's very generous what uh, what Niall's uh, offering. Um, and as he stated, whether whether you're on the fence or you've got no sort of such system in place, have a chat with him. Yeah, that would be. I, and look, I think I think the piece on it too is everyone's nuanced. Their businesses are slightly different or very different, and I think that's the thing that often gets um, 
gets passed over here is that you know you guys are busy in your business running it have a chat see if we can support you it may not be now maybe in the future um it's only you know only a couple of minutes uh to do so and and it might yeah we might surprise ourselves how it could really help you is that link did I, you I, throw I, that? sorry sammy one moment did you throw that link in yeah i'm gonna um oh, okay. bear with me one second i'm just gonna uh update it because it's like it here we go that's better i'll drop it in chat again sorry Unless someone got the QR code, okay. So. There we go. There's a link. Apologies. So yeah, and all you do when that link is just pop your details on the bottom, and I'll reach out directly to you. Just name, email, and phone number if you're comfortable. Pop on, run you through it, get on a call, talk about your business specifically, um, and what you're doing now, and also what you plan to do in the future. And I, I noticed there, Android as well. Let's do the same thing because we want people um, actually on our beta of that and giving us feedback directly too. So yeah, perfect. Sammy, I love you- I. Yeah, thank you so much, Coach, and forgive me for jumping in. I get excited, I get passionate, and I just, uh, uh, especially the gentle, oh, the people that know me well, you, you'll know, uh, forgive me for getting so excited. Look, it's all about automation. You guys are often one-man shows or several people shows. The automation will, will, will give you the scalability. There's no other, like, you, it's impossible. Like, I was just speaking to another trainer. And she threw at me that 70% of new PTs leave the industry within 12 months. So if you think of small businesses, right, the old stat was 85% of small businesses fail in the first 12 months. 95% fail in the first five years. Okay, it's a difficult job. Being an entrepreneur, small business owner, fitness or not, it's a really difficult job. You've got to wear many hats. To, to unload those hats into automation is going to take you to the next level and give you the space to do your job properly. So I just want to iterate that because it, I've noticed at FTI how well we do this and how much of an impact it had over COVID. Like it was dramatic. If it wasn't for our systems, yeah, I'll leave it there. But it's enough said. You guys know. So I'll leave it. Yeah, good point, Sammy. Thank you. And thank you for those who, who stayed on uh, for the whole uh, course and obviously a couple who uh, Belinda and Khan needed to shoot off. So everyone's quite interested. Um, it's a great offer. It's just a great possibility. Um, and, and I think as well, I mean, back to almost 20 years in the industry, at least 22 years when I first started, you know, I didn't have any of such things, you know, it was just training in the park, getting cash, um, training at the gym, getting cash. And so it, it just makes it more professional, of course, and it, and it just it, it mitigates the the amount of energy that's required for all of those sort of losses, you know, um, leakages. And I think it cuts both ways. That was one thing. <laughs> that was one thing, uh, Niall, that um, you, you made a good point of. Is it, it it's good for both in that the money collected, mm-hmm. the client doesn't have to think about it, nor totally. does the the coach or trainer, as long as at the beginning that's all agreed upon. Particularly those fees that you know two point nine plus 30 cents is factored in. I think there should be no problems. Um, yeah. 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 Look, I, I see it because we get feedback directly from the clients. We ask, you know, we can't almost go to trainers and say, hey, is it, is, it, is it all right if we speak to some of your clients to get feedback for ourselves? And to date, it's like the literature, it's, the word is, it's just so easy. So easy, so simple. And that's, you can't beat that, right? Because I think a lot of the time you think about your clients, the busy lives, your job is to make it to get as much impact in the in the short period of time you have with them each week or month, whatever it might be, or online. And if you can simplify that, the money comes out of the account. You get to your coaching, and you get to do what you what you love doing and do best. I know um, we could actually make, in some sense, we could actually make the business side of things a lot uh, something you might actually not enjoy, but be less painful. That's always nice too. So, yeah, I, I won't I won't beat the drum anymore. Please reach out. Um, I'd love to chat with you. There's no there's no um, there's no obligation here. We can just have a chat, see where you're at. And if you like it, it makes sense for you, then we'll take it from there. Thanks, Noel. Love your work. Um, and Thank you. We will uh, be in touch very soon. And, uh, of course, this will be posted uh, onto the tribe as well. So have a good rest of the day, folks, and chat soon. Thank you. Really? Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much, Noel. Take care. Thanks.